Me and Tracy are going out for a walk. We're going to try and find a supermarket, which we saw on the way here on the bus coach into the hotel to see what they've got and what it's like to shop in Spain, I guess. Big pile of leaves. <laughs> it's autumn. You wouldn't think, though. It's supposed to be 34 degrees today. So we're going to go to the water park later. But in the meantime, we're going to go see what we can buy from the shop. We're in a Spanish supermarket. Check it out. Just thought we'd come and have a look and see what the local stuff is. Nescafe cafe and everything. It's still coffee and tea, I think. Sort of snacks and everything. And it's it's really cool. You like those? We're just coming and see what we can find. Really, maybe some alcohol and. Snacks and things like that to take back to the hotel. They got Pringles. Pringles. Do you like saying a cream and onion? I can't remember. Not a cream and onion. Or just the plain ones. So that's why I didn't buy you any on the plane. I only had some stuff. Yeah, go on then. Is it? I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> Trace, they got fresh bread. Oh, they got Lay's. So much stuff to choose from. Can't help but feel there's more choice than there is in English supermarkets. Shots fired! Shots fired! <gasps> they got tuck biscuits. I love tuck biscuits. <laughs> They're so nice. This is pretty cool. Okay, whatever you do, don't look in the freezer. Don't look in the freezer. No, look at Where's that? Cake. Cake galore. This looks really nice. San Marcos cake. It's nice. Cool. I should also point out that Tracy doesn't want me to particularly film her because she's got no makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the water park straight after this. And she's got no makeup on so she ended up looking like a panda. On other news. Breaking news, talking about pandas, the yum, 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 yum. Bones. <laughs> the giant panda officially became unendangered today, which is amazing. It's good to see that conservation is doing its job, which it hasn't done for a long, long time. But in the meantime, we're going to try and find some snacks. Oh, glasses. I need those. So, just did some shopping. Like the most tiniest amount. <laughs> Cookies and crisps. Just snacks, really, just so we can munch on whilst we're waiting for dinner or breakfast. For those of you who haven't been to Spain or haven't been to Spain in a while, the economic crash Spain had about a year ago or a year and a half ago really like took its toll. And we're in what is presumably like a complex. I mean, actually, you can think of it as a map over here, which shows everything. Port Tele. All the shops closed and nothing in here. There's actually nothing here. All these shops. So this one behind me a is a restaurant which never got finished. There's a one over there which is just an open building. You got another bar over there I think. And then the cinema. I think the cinema is open but there's no one there. There's supposed to be a bowling alley as well but I think that might be on the other side. And there's a decathlon store, which we're getting one of those in Crawley actually, come to think of it. Yeah. But literally, like, if we just look down there, the whole place is empty. And we walk through down there, it's like a, a walkway, and all the shops are empty. Nothing, there's an orange shop, everything like that, and it's just completely deserted. There's a clothes shop down here as well, we'll have a look at, but it's just like my camera's struggling to focus. Look, there we go, that's better. It's just mad. Down there. There's a clothes shop, but how on earth they can do any business, I'll never know. Supermarket's quite busy though. 
It's probably the only one in the local area, so a lot of people come here. Found the bowling alley. I was quite excited actually, because I love my bowling. But nothing. Closed completely. So this is a shop. Hanabuku, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Um, it looks like it's partially open, partially closed, I think. It's got locks on the door. That's a baby shop of some sort. Sasana Gears? Guess? I don't know what that is all about. But again, that's just shops. Row after row of shops closed. Crazy. Really? Yep. <laughs> My work, I mean, you consider the supermarket is quite busy because it's the only one in the area, I suppose. Look, an orange shop. You don't see those anymore in the UK, do you? Because orange are part of EE now. But orange are quite prominent out in Europe, I think, because I don't think EE exists yeah. over here, so. Yeah, that's why your phone switched over to orange, didn't it? Yeah. Mine's on Movie Star. I don't know what the hell that is. And you've got a Betty Boop shop with Disney. And Hello Kitty. Even that's closed. And then there's, oh, there's the go-kart track. Yes. It's an electric go-kart track. We got one shop that's open. Well done to them. Um, yeah, just down there, I can try and zoom in. It's an electric go kart track. Doesn't look like it's open yet. We were tempted to try and do it, but I'm not entirely sure if it's open or how much it costs. Hola, hello, buongiorno, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, actually. We're at the water park, aren't we? It's a lot of fun. Let's have a look at the view. There we go, see? That's the kids area over there. That's the big sort of ride that we wanted to go on. It's like a multi-person donut ride, but the queue is ginormous for it. So we're probably not gonna be going on that unless the queue whittles down a bit. But it's really fun. What have we done so far? We've done the Lazy River. Yeah. That was fun. We've done the six, people slide mat thingy yeah. and we've been in the wave pool head first, you? sorry my finger was over there you, you do you slide down head first so like you get on the mat one well, actually it's quite funny one bloke who went up before us he actually lost his mat uh -oh, um, it went down alert. on its own lucky enough i had a spare alert. Uh, what you do is you just get in front of it hold on tight and then you shoot down but water's like splashing in your face yeah. trace was like she couldn't see halfway down it um but that was really good fun. I caught some air. Coming onto the second part of the ramp, I, I could feel my body lift up. I was like, shh. <gasps> Hold on tight. Even then you can't see where you're going. So it's quite terrifying actually. Uh, and we've been in the wave pool. The wave pool is, well, we've been the Typhoon Lagoon and it's nothing like that at all. Nothing at all. It's like, as Dre says, it's like the one at Butlins. Yeah. It's just, it's just like little waves that come in. Nothing that you can't surf them in, that's for sure. Um, but I love the park actually, it's quite cool, literally cool, because it's 32 degrees at the moment, I think, and we're in the shade actually. But here, check this out. My feet are in the shade, so I'm nice and cool. As soon as I put them out into the sun, I can immediately feel the heat start to burn my skin. Not literally burn, but you can feel the heat on your feet. And that's another thing, when you're walking around on the concrete, it's really hot. At some water parks, they have like um, like sp uh, sprinklers that spray water onto the floor so you can sort of jump from one to the other trying to keep your feet cool. Doesn't happen here. But we had lunch as well. That was really nice. Um, we got the free pass from our hotel. I had chicken, fingers and chips with a brownie. The brownie was quite nice. Very rich and heavy though. With some whipped cream. Tracy had a salad trying to work on her beach body. Not that it doesn't need that much work anyway because I think she looks beautiful as she is. Didn't eat all the salad. She loves iceberg lettuce. So I ate the iceberg lettuce. Um, and the chicken fingers and chips. And the brownie as well. What do you think about the food? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, woman of few okay. words. A woman of few words yeah. is my fiance. But we're, we're really enjoying it here actually. We're going to jump back in the pool after the food's gone down. We're going to cream up because we've got to cream up boys. You know, get the face. Get the tanning cream on, don't want to burn. 
and I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. We may go back to the theme park itself, maybe a bit cooler because they're open till midnight, um, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, we're really enjoying ourselves here, and I suppose we'll see you back at the hotel and or at the theme park later on in the evening. Gracias. We're back at the main theme park. We're going on to Tuki Splash here in the Polynesian area of the park. It's still very warm, so we thought, hey, we'll come back and do some water rides while heading home and having some dinner. To Tuki Splash is what we're going on. Hello and good evening. Whoa, my eyes look a little bit red. Oh my god, I look like the Sith Lord. Do you me in the camera? <laughs> Jeez. And hello from Port Ventura. That's our hotel in the background. Huh? What do you think? Very cool. And as you can see, the Ferrari Tower from there as well. We had an amazing day today. Went to the water park, had a load of fun, and then as you saw, my shirt's actually still wet. I think a lot of people might think it was sweat. Maybe a little bit of sweat. Mostly water. <laughs> um, went on, um, was it two tiki? The ride, as, as you saw. And this is basically the aftershot. My hair is a mess. Tracy's hair is a mess. YouTube might block that. Um, <laughs> and then afterwards we went on Angkor. Um, Angkor's... It's weird because when you walk past it, it's a very slow moving sort of raft ride. You get like six people sitting in it. But it's actually really good fun because you have to aim at different... It's like a, um, you have to aim at different things. We're in a lift now, by the way. Um, and then you hit them and then things happen. And for example, one guy, like the curtain open and there's a guy sitting on the toilet and he, he pees at you <laughs> with, <laughs> with water. No, you got me right in the face. A guy pissed on me right in the face. That's yeah, gonna be a title. It's a ten guy. That will go one. Yeah, no, that's gonna be the title of this vlog. Guy pisses in my face. <laughs> okay, millions of views. <laughs> but, sorry, but let me remind me of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was really fun actually. We enjoyed that ride. It's one of my favourite rides since we've been here. And we just had dinner at the buffet. Again, really nice. It's, it's good quality food. I quite enjoy it considering. Um, that this is the all inclusive stuff, and then Tracy actually tried something different. What did you try, Trace? It's some rice, it's a bit oniony, but it tasted nice. Sort of onion flavoured, no. um, might have had a bit of basil, yeah, some kind of herbs in there. It's actually quite nice, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. And we're stuffed, yeah. literally, literally stuffed. Um, so we're just back in the hotel, look, the endless corridors. Ooh. And now we're back in the room, and we're gonna have. A nice bit of chill time. Hello! Oh, hola! Hola, everyone. Good afternoon. It's currently 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Salou. We've had a very interesting morning. Um, I woke up feeling very bad. Uh, we're not going to go any further on that. Let's just say it's something I ate, probably. And I got a bit of a headache. I think I caught the sun a bit too much. I've had a bit of sunstroke. But I hope that should be on the mend tomorrow. Tracy really wanted to go into town. Um, she made herself look as pretty as she always does yeah. to come in. And I felt quite bad because I was like, okay, I could probably get through this if I man up a little bit. Um, and I did. Took some tablets, paracetamol, and I actually feel pretty good. Bit of a headache still, but nothing some water I'm sure can't solve. We're here in a beautiful town. We got on the hop on, hop off bus train. And look at that, ain't it pretty? All the fountains and everything. Yeah, one's, one's over there. And it's really cool. It's got like an yeah, English bar. I don't know if you can see it. There's an English bar right over there. There's English breakfast all day. Oops, sorry. And we might stop by there, but we've also seen there's a sign for McDonald's. Which is that way? We're going to go there. <laughs> We're not entirely sure if McDonald's in Spain is exactly the same as it is McDonald's in England, just in different writing. They might have a different menu. I, I'd imagine they do. Yeah, slightly different. They still have. Burgers. Yeah, I imagine so. But well, we're gonna go hit the shops because that's probably the re main reason why Tracy dragged me down here. Yeah, that's how we look. <laughs> we're on holiday and you drag your fiance around the shops. Not something no man wants to hear. <laughs> no. Anyway. I won't be for hours. Better not be. <laughs> Only so much this man can take. Two hours later. That is way cool stuff. Get a bell and everything. Where it calls wands. A really scary shark thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you guys decide in the comments below what that looks like. <laughs> so this is like Salou. This is like, I'm assuming this is the main high street. 
There's a train coming. This shop is not open, <gasps> oh, like unfortunately. Why do we like this one? It's not oh, open. It's so cute. I know those ones. Um, I do believe Tracy has found the teddy. It's so cute. Bit. He always gets all cutesy over and starts screaming about. Yeah. A nice top. I'm liking that. But yeah, this is it's quite an interesting little town. I like it. Got Caledonia over there. There's a couple of shops we recognise from home. Got to cross over the train tracks. The train that brings you down here, as there are people just standing there watching the train tracks change, um, it went over really slowly, so you couldn't help but think, hey, what would happen if the train decides to come? I mean, what <laughs> would the driver do? Would he speed up and break his carriages, or would he let us all die? I don't know. Yeah, there's a few shops we recognise. Mango is one of them, um, and a couple of others. And we're going to keep on shopping, and maybe till Tracy finds something she might want to take home with her. Do you think you find something? Buy some gifts. I'll buy some gifts. Yes, precisely. So we just had something to eat. We were quite hungry and we were saved by something you wouldn't expect to see in, as you saw, in Dunkin' Donuts. You wouldn't expect to see them in Spain. And as you just saw as well, we just jumped into McDonald's. There we go. And next door is Burger King, something you would not expect to see right next to each other. It's kind of weird. But we're actually sitting right next to these lovely little fountains, waiting for the train to take us home. The stop's just over there. This is the last stop of the journey. And the guy, I think he said it takes an hour and a bit to get back to Port Aventura. Um, but there is a bus, which we'll see if we can try and get on if it comes before. There's not a bus till half four though. So we'll see which one comes first. And we're gonna head back and go by the poolside, holla.